In the unfolding puzzle that is life, there are big pieces that lead to the big picture. And there is no bigger piece than the Adirondacks. Its six million acre park is the largest in the continental United States. Bigger than the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, the Everglades, and Glacier National Park combined. It is spacious, brimming, prodigious, Olympic sized. And it's for good reason that it's the only place in America to hold the Winter Olympic Games twice. Lake Placid area has always been immersed in sports. We are able to pull off events that uh, the world travels here for. Lake Placid made a commitment to the Olympics with the 32 games by holding the first covered ice rink for competition, first time hockey was played indoors, and the 32 games have been important to Lake Placid ever since. Plus, we have the weather, we have the mountains, we have the biggest vertical drop in the east. As the day wears on, you take a bobsled ride, which is thrilling. It's a champagne of thrills. There is no speed limit on the path to excellence. Or you can go on the speed skating oval where Eric Hyden won his five gold medals. And we have some public sessions where you can just skate around. And I tell you, at night, when, um, when there's a little bit of moon and there's this uh, snow that's falling like right behind me again, it's magical. Teddy Roosevelt, who loved the Adirondacks, was hiking here when he heard McKinley had died, making him the president. He could have been writing about Olympians or anyone who dares to come here when he wrote, if they fail, the credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, who knows the great enthusiasms and the triumph of great achievement, and who, at worst, if he fails, he fails by daring greatly.